Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and today I'm going to be going through the Victorian Mansion Let's Build. It is finally complete. So today we are going to be doing the final showcase of this build in the completed Let's Build. So the house is completely done, interior, exterior, landscaping, it's all finished. So I'm going to go through it today. The interior, everything, we'll go through it all and you know do kind of like a final inspirational wrap up for this particular Let's Build. And if you didn't watch all the Let's Build episodes or didn't watch the Let's Build at all and you're just here to check out some inspiration, uh, this was a 19 part Let's Build here in the default texture pack for a Victorian mansion. The mansion has five bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms. I kind of have this little quota that I made up myself um, that I don't classify a house a mansion in Minecraft unless it has five bedrooms. So this one does indeed have five bedrooms, so therefore it is a mansion. Um, pretty big build. It's one of the larger houses I've created in a long time and I really really like the final product of it If I were to make any changes to the place I would probably build it on a on a regular world instead of a super flat I know if you look at it from you know a sky view like from really high up This is a huge amount of land so it would be hard to find a flat space to build this thing uh, on a regular world but I think it would be kind of a fun challenge so uh, I really enjoyed doing the let's build for this. You guys really seemed to like it. You know, it was 19 parts long, like I said. And uh, it was one of the longest let's builds I've done. I can't remember a let's build that I've done at least in the last two years that has been longer than 19 parts other than the castle or I guess CLD counts as a let's build kind of. But um, it's got everything you need. It's got four garage doors, a pool house in the back. It's got an outdoor pool, obviously. Um, it's just a nice house. I think it turned out good. It was a long project for sure, but uh, I'm really happy with the final result. So let's kind of walk up the driveway here and get started with this thing. I'll go through the interior and then we'll check out the outside as well. So uh, there's just a really big kind of winding driveway that goes up to the garage doors over here. And uh, over here on the uh, the driveway, I have a little low to the ground sports car here, which is insanely low to the ground. So you're probably scraping your butt on the ground when you're sitting that thing. Uh, again, the four garage doors, they're made out of acacia wood. This, this house was built in the default texture pack, so uh, I used some sandstone, stone brick, quartz were kind of like the three main blocks that I used. Um, I would say if you're looking at it in other texture packs, which I will dabble with later on in the video, uh, I would say the steampunk texture pack is a solid option to take a look at it in, but other than that, I think it's really kind of suited for the default texture pack, and I think that's good because, you know, the default texture pack is, after all, the default Minecraft thing, you know, it's the original, so I thought it was fun to build in the default texture pack again. So, as far as the front yard landscape before I go inside, I have a pond out in the front here uh, with a little dock on it and a bench. I've made a bunch of gardening features in the front yard, so we have a huge flower bed right in front of the uh, walkway that leads up to the front porch. Just a bunch of flower beds. I even added this tree here recently. I did not do this on the Let's Build. I decided to make my own custom tree, so that's basically like a oak tree that's, you know, it's it's man-made and it's it's much bigger than the ones that you can just kind of plant. So uh, I was almost going to do those all the way around the yard, but I kind of liked how there was just one of them that was really big and it has a flower bed kind of wrapped around the side. So without further ado, let's go ahead and fly on inside and we'll go through the floor plan. So when you walk inside, here is the main foyer or the foyer, as I as you know, say it all fancy. And, uh, you know, this, this part of the house is actually one of the most standard looking parts of the house, really. Um, but don't worry, it's going to get a lot more fancy than this. I just wanted to keep it simple for this part. So, uh, off to the left here, we have a closet, just a simple closet right off the uh, entrance to the house. So, that's pretty standard. Uh, there is the staircase that leads up to the second level. We'll go up there in just a bit. Veering off to the right here, this is kind of like a, just a, a small hallway room that kind of connects to a bunch of different things, obviously connects back to the foyer, which is where we just came from. That connects over to the living room, which we'll get to in a second, but it also has two other rooms on it. Uh, this room is a room I built on camera. This is actually the first room I furnished of the interior on the let's build part. This is just a little study or an office space uh, with a whiteboard, some bookshelves, a nice little uh, desk here, and then you know some other things. And then right here is just an extra little closet that I added. I had a little bit more space, so I thought I'd throw it in. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much this little office space. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I like the acacia wood walls. All the walls in the interior are all different colors, so you kind of see that theme throughout the build. Moving on over here, we have a half bathroom. First bathroom of the house. We have a little trash can over here, the uh, faucets and the sinks, and we have a toilet right there with some toilet paper on, hanging on the wall. 
All of the ceiling designs, by the way, throughout the house are, you know, well detailed and look really fancy. So just kind of keep that in mind if you're looking for some ceiling inspiration and things like that. So uh, moving on into the living room here, we have the living room and the family room right next to each other. I would actually consider this room here the family room. So this one took a while to build, but I think it turned out nice. We have just have a little table right there with a lamp on it. We have two couches, which is a new couch design that I tried for this particular build. It's got, um, I'm not really sure what stained clay color that is. I think that's light gray or maybe just gray. I'm not 100% sure. They look all different and weird. So uh, you have some gray carpet and you have some upside down dark oak wood stairs and you have some snow and it just kind of creates like these sofa designs that I added for this build. And I think they look pretty good. So just some inspiration there. We have the, uh, the glass coffee table. That's supposed to be an ottoman right there. Obviously the fireplace with a little painting on top, a ceiling fan, and then we have an extra little love seat right there. So, I mean, there's, um, you know, everything you can think of in this room, you know, for a, just a small family room. The only thing it doesn't have is televisions. The thing about the default texture pack is it doesn't have that really nice painting like the city texture pack. So I decided to just, um, you know, kind of refrain from using too many TVs on this house because there's really no great way to do it in the default. Anyway, this door over here, uh, let me start walking. This door over here leads out to the back porch, which we'll go into in more detail later on. So moving on to the left over here, this leads into the living room, which is a similar designed room as that room. It's got two more sofas here, a coffee table, a fireplace, a ceiling fan, and a, and a, a table here. So very similar design. Um, it's supposed to be kind of just uh, you know, right next to each other. Plenty of space to lounge out on this house. Uh, keeping, keep going down the hallway here. This is the sunroom. And uh, this room has some more sitting areas. We have a couple of nice chairs here and then a, sm a smaller sofa, a table in the middle, a couple of lamps. And then we have the uh, white glass windows, which I think uh, are looking pretty good. Lots of natural light in this room. As you can see, we have the uh, ceiling lighting as well. That's kind of the idea of the sunroom. I use some birch wood for the walls. And this right here, this door, leads out to the side garden of the house. So there's a little wishing well here in the middle. And it just kind of wraps around to the backyard. It's a nice connection between the front and the backyard. So that's just a little connection to the sunroom. Um, I also added this uh, carpet right here that's floating. is supposed to be kind of like a uh, shades that are kind of like um, lifted up right now. So they're not like, you know, all the way down. But that's kind of what that was supposed to be. So anyway, moving on. Uh, we'll get to the basement in a little bit. But we're going to keep on going here. Uh, and this room is another room I did on camera. Furnish this room. This is just a guest bedroom. So... Have a nice big bed here. This is what I'm talking about with the TVs. Not very, uh, you know, good looking design there. Uh, right here we have a little hamper for some clothes, a dresser, a lamp, uh, some Danville's anvils all over the house. You got to have those, a painting. I really like that painting in the default. That's one of my favorites. Some more bookshelves. And then there's two ensuite uh, areas here. So we have a walk-in closet with some nice space in here that you looks out onto the front yard. So that's a pretty nice space. And then just over to the right, we have the ensuite bathroom for this place, which is a full bathroom. Uh, pretty nice. We even have a little shade right there with some, I guess that would be uh, maybe brown stained clay probably. And then we have, again, all the same stuff that you see in a bathroom. I'll probably stop going too much detail into these bathrooms because they're really similar. So this is another bathroom on the ensuite for this guest bedroom. And that's pretty much it for this side. So let's keep on going. Uh, the next thing I got to show you is back over here, guys. This is the dining room table with some chandeliers. This is the great room of the house. Again, super tall ceiling, which is personally one of my favorite rooms in the house. Um, whenever you're doing a mansion, you always gotta have one of these vaulted ceilings. So uh, this was the where I added it. We also have a window that's being opened here that looks into the backyard, which is also really nice. And then right over here is the kitchen space. So uh, this was the last room I did on the house. Uh, I tried to go like simple enough with it, but still keep it you know, looking really fancy and nice. So you got the refrigerator, we got the stove, and this is a, a, a smoke escape or whatever they're called. Uh, just some shelving up there with some random stuff, an extra table, a carpet. This is the island in the middle where you know you can sit and eat breakfast in the morning or whatever. But ideally, you'd probably come over to the dining room, which is right next to the kitchen, which is a good floor plan design if you're building houses. Try to make sure the dining room is right next to or close to the kitchen. Just a tip for you. And uh, that's pretty much it for the kitchen. Again, I went with the chiseled quartz floor with some clay, or sorry, uh, some coal uh, scattered in there just for some effect. Uh, this room has two parallel doorways. This one leads to the front porch and the other one leads to the back porch. So there's a lot of symmetry on this house, even though the outside does not look very symmetrical. 
Uh, I, again, I thought the floor plan kind of came together with the exterior on this house really nicely. It was a pretty seamless transition, not too much effort on my end. I just kind of had to, you know, uh, put it put it together pretty much. Um, in other words, it wasn't that hard to kind of, I wasn't having struggle with like different blocks, you know, not lining up with each other and things like that. That kind of stuff came together really nicely is what I meant. So anyway, coming down here, uh, we have the garage space. Got a nice sports car in here. Again, this door leads out to the driveway and the same thing on that side. So we'll walk over there real quick. You can connect over to the other side of the garage through here. Uh, there is a room in between though, and this is the laundry room for the house. So we have some washers and dryers and then just a little table with some clothes on it. Uh, pretty nice room. This one has a tall ceiling as well. And then over here is the second garage, which has two more cars. This garage is a little bit different because it has a connection out to the pool deck. And then right over here on this side, it has a ladder that leads up to the second floor of this garage, which is just like an extra space for storage or something like that. So um, just an extra thing right there. So we'll go fly back on inside and continue the tour. So still lots more to look at, look, look at for this house. So uh, we're going to just keep on chugging along here. I think we've gotten most of the first floor done. So let's start to move up to the second level here. Um, so without further ado, let's walk right up the stairs. So the stairs kind of like wind around up to this room, which again has a tall ceiling. And uh, you might recognize this part. This is like the main front of the house right above the front door. Again, the symmetry worked out really nice. Uh, this right here is just kind of a hallway that leads to a bunch of different things. As you can see, this is the, uh, I guess, the balcony that looks down onto the great room, which is really nice. Uh, this place is where we're going to go first on the second floor. This is just kind of like a recreational space or a game room. As you can see, it's got a pool table in the middle with a light above that, a nice couch, and then a television. So a pretty standard room. And then down here is kind of like the multimedia space. So there's just a big uh, widescreen TV on the wall that is mounted on the wall. So you can watch the movies in here and stuff like that. So uh, this is really just kind of like the recreational area of the house. And then right over here, there is a bathroom right off of that. So we got the toilet and the sink and the garbage can. So you don't even have to leave this room if you have an intense game of pool or you're watching a movie and you don't want to miss anything. So you don't even have to leave this space. Uh, walking down the hallway to the other side, uh, to the right here, we have the attic. We'll just go up and check this out real quick since it's real quick. Um, the attic is basically just a bunch of random blocks placed around with some cobwebs just for some storage. Uh, it's a small space, nothing too crazy. Could I have added an extra bedroom up here or something like that? Probably could have, but usually attics are just kind of like random storage and no one ever wants to go up there. So um, I just left it how it was. Anyway, so let's keep on going. Uh, this wing of the house is basically dedicated to bedrooms. So straight ahead, you have a bedroom. To the right, you have a bedroom. To the left, you have a bedroom. This one's a little bit more special because it's the master suite. We'll get to that one last. So this right here is like, I guess, a kid's bedroom since of the uh, color scheme. Pretty standard. Again, the same real design as most of our bedrooms. And then right here is a just a half bathroom en suite. So we've got the toilet and the sink and everything. So everything comes standard. And then straight down the hallway, if you're going straight down the middle, we have another bedroom here, which I guess could be another kid's bedroom or whatever. It really depends uh, on the, the people that live in this house. Again, this one has a closet off to the side as well as an ensuite bathroom. So every bedroom on the second floor and has an ensuite bathroom. I believe every bedroom in the house on the first and second floors have ensuite bathrooms except for the basement. So we'll get to that in a minute. Again, this one's a full bathroom. It's got a shower and everything. So looking good. And finally, let's get to the master suite on the second level. This one is pretty nice. Uh, off to the left here, we have the uh, big walk-in closet for the masters of the house. And then just right across the hallway, we have the big master bathroom, which is a huge room. Uh, we built this thing on camera. We actually built this last episode for the final part of the series. Again, a big shower, nice little table. You can lay down some towels or some clothes. Again, a huge counter here with some sinks and even a big mirror in the middle. And then we got the toilet as well. So a really nice bathroom. Got some paintings on the walls and some artwork. Nice room. Perfect for the masters. So here is where the master bedroom is. This is where they sleep. Obviously a nice big bed. You got to have these poles coming out from each side. A couple of big dressers on the wall there. This is supposed to be kind of like a some sort of cabinet thing with a television sitting on top of it. Uh, this uh, or this doorway right here leads out to the balcony above the porch, the back porch, and has a beautiful view of the backyard. So we'll go back inside. And then lastly, uh, this right here just opens up into the great room so you can kind of look down in the morning. So I didn't really, I wasn't really sure what to add with that space. So that's what I did. Just added a little uh, opening in the wall that leads into the great room. So uh, that's pretty much it for the first and second floor of the house. I think we went over everything. 
So the last thing to do on the interior is to go down and check out the basement and then that'll be it. So we'll quickly check out that and then we'll go do one more fly around, show the backyard a little bit in more detail. And that's gonna be a wrap on the Victorian Mansion Let's Build, which has been a blast for me to build. So coming down here into the basement, a couple different ways you can go. You can go right or left. I'm gonna start off left. This is kind of just the main room where people would hang out if there was like a house party or something like that. Uh, obviously we got another pool table in the middle. There's a bar over here, a bunch of different, um, I guess this would be like barrels of wine or something like that. And again, we have a bunch of flower pots, uh, which are representing some cups and a couple of brewing stands kind of hanging down from the wood. So it's just supposed to be like a nice little bar in the corner. I think it turned out really nice. So hopefully you guys like it as well. Uh, again, we have a little shelving with a TV. This is supposed to be a bench. This is supposed to be a table. And a, again, another, uh, I guess, just a little chair or bench or whatever. And then these right here are the uh, the pool cues on the wall. So those are pretty cool as well. All right, so anyway, coming over here, um, this thing in the floor right here actually leads down to how far down the world goes. Just I don't know why that's still there. I should probably replace that back with the uh, dark oak wood, but this this uh, world is a custom super flat world, so I was able to build underground pretty nicely. Going back over here, these are supposed to be some posters on the wall of maybe some records of some old albums or things like that, or posters or st stuff like that, just kind of on the wall. So that's what added, that's supposed to be if you're wondering. This right here is kind of like a man cave slash um, you know refrigerator room, so we got some storage in here. Uh, these things on the wall are supposed to be like banners for like sports teams maybe just got to use your imagination with that some extra random storage in the corner and then right over here we have like a laptop and uh or like a gaming pc or something like that so just an extra little room on the side if you walk down this hallway go straight ahead we have an extra bedroom this is the fifth bedroom on the house just an extra space if you have a guest sleeping over and you, the guest room's already taken so um if you have a lot of relatives coming over that would be a perfect room so Moving on over here, we have an extra closet right here, just for some more storage. And then this is kind of like the multimedia space. So we have a kind of an elevated floor here that leads up to two couches. And then there's like a big TV with some surround sound. And that's um, just an extra TV where you can come down here and like watch the Super Bowl or something like that. Got some extra bar stools right there if you wanna sit in the back. If you're not really interested in watching TV, that's totally cool. And then right here, we have a full bathroom down here. So shower and everything. Uh, just in case someone's sleeping down here so they don't have to go all the way upstairs to go to the bathroom. So uh, I, th I believe that's it, guys. I think that's everything for the interior of the house. Um, it all came together really nicely. I'm really happy with the final result. So without further ado, let's kind of go outside here and let's just walk through the rest of the place and just kind of put a wrap on this Let's Build. It was a 19-part Let's Build, guys. It was really fun. I appreciate the support you guys gave it. You guys came back every episode and uh, really supported it nicely and that's really much appreciated. So as far as the backyard goes, we'll kind of wrap up with that. We have a couple of tennis courts parallel to each other, a couple of clay tennis courts, which look pretty good. And I've covered most of this on camera, so I don't really need to go into it with too much detail, but since this is the inspiration video, I will. Basically how it works is you come out from the uh, back porch and you can walk down this pathway. It's a bunch of bushes and things like that and trees. I actually switched up the fountain. Originally, I just kind of had the water flowing off the top of it, but I decided to make the fountain like shooting water up in the air, kind of like what I did on the castle that's built. So basically from the fountain, there's some benches. So you can go four different directions. You can go down this way towards the pool area, which is a nice bean shaped pool with a diving board. Uh, looks really nice. And then there's like kind of like an extra lawn up here with some lawn chairs and things like that, a couple of birch trees. And then right here is the pool house. And then inside here, we have some extra storage. And then this right here is supposed to be the pool cover for the winter time or whatever, or if you're not using the pool for a certain amount of time. So it kind of like it's wrapped up against the wall right there, which is pretty cool and using a wool block for that. And that's the pool house. And then basically there's just kind of like a lawn here that you can step down on if you want to throw the football around or, you know, do whatever sport you want to do. And then here is the gazebo straight ahead from the back of the house. This thing is actually completely symmetrical with the front door, which is another thing that I thought, you know, ended up really nice about this house. Uh, it's got a fire pit in the middle, nice little building, or a little, I guess, little space here. And I believe that's it for the backyard. So again, I tried to put as much detail into this place as possible. When I finished the actual house itself, it had so much detail on it. So I had to match that detail with the interior and the landscaping. And I thought I captured that pretty nicely. And I think that puts a pretty good wrap on the Victorian mansion let's build, guys. It was a really fun let's build. I enjoyed it a lot, building this thing over the last two months or so. 
I am going to be starting a brand new Let's Build very soon within the next week or so because I love doing Let's Builds and it's something I want to be doing all the time because it just keeps the inspiration flowing for me. So thank you guys for watching. The Victorian Mansion Let's Build is in the books. That is a wrap. And we will leave you guys with the signature L right above the window here. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for supporting this Let's Build. Give this video a like if you did enjoy the tour uh, going through this thing very extensively, just in full detail. And uh, that is pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. It's been Dan Lags, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. And one more thing that I almost forgot about before I let you guys go. I want to show you guys the house in the Steampunk Texture Pack. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, it looks good in the default. Uh, not so much in most texture packs, but the Steampunk Texture Pack in example is one that I think it looks really good in. Um, the sandstone, smooth sandstone that is, looks beautiful in this texture pack. I think it looks really good. Um, most of the blocks that I chose just kind of match up with this texture pack very nicely. So I just wanted to give a quick fly around, show you guys this thing, the steampunk. If you're wondering what it looks like in the city texture pack or the natural texture pack, some of the other popular texture packs on Xbox 360 or Xbox One or console in general, um, I'll just let you know that it does not look very good in the city texture pack. And it, it looks okay in the natural texture pack, but again, not really worth showing. But the interior doesn't look a whole lot better in the steampunk. So I'll just kind of show you guys the exterior real quick. Um, I, I think the uh, steampunk texture pack is a really underrated texture pack, so I thought I'd give it a little bit of love here today. But uh, again, the, the interior is really more themed towards the default. So for, and, and that's pretty much, you know, the only texture pack it looks like, you know, decent in. So um, steampunk texture pack, guys, I wanted to show you that real quick before I end the video. Uh, it looks good, doesn't it? I think it looks really, really cool and different in this texture pack because this texture pack is just so unique. So uh, that's the last thing. You guys can go now. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. It's been Dan Lang. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>